Cuphead looks like a fun run and gun side scrolling shooter. Beautifully animated. It also has an excellent jazz soundtrack. And all these things together make it an interesting game which I would want to check out. And the game is very difficult. Making it Dark Souls because it's hard, right? Every difficult game makes it Dark Souls, right? No. Why would I compare this to Dark Souls is a very good question. Hell, why would I compare this to Mario is a very good question also. I don't know either. If you don't know what's going on, then you are very lucky. And now you're not because I'm going to bring you up to speed. There's this video going around about one Dean Takahashi playing the tutorial for Cuphead. And uh, I'll let you see it for yourself. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He sucks, right? It's not just me. He sucks, right? People defended Dean Takahashi. One article says that this reignited the debate of getting good, as if getting good was a bad thing. Why are gaming journalists afraid of being good? There's even this article that came out on how the tutorial was a bad tutorial, and it's not intuitive. You know what? I'll give him some credit. Maybe he's not used to run and gun games. I just think it's weird that a person who's been playing video games for so long is having difficulty with this tutorial. I mean, look at the instructions. Jump, tap for short, hold for high jump. And the curve suggests that you could use this block to jump to that particular part. And then you dash at the apex. Isn't that like, wouldn't you figure that out? One of my idols in YouTube, Joseph Anderson, said this, that the tutorial could have been broken down into two parts. Normally, I would disagree, but I respect his opinions on video games, so maybe I should pay attention. Maybe he does have a point. You have a high jump, and then you integrate that with a dash. If you're a total noob, this would be difficult to get at the first try. Maybe they are right. I trust Joseph Anderson at least. I don't know. This kid gets it, and he's what, four? Jump and down, and then, and then jump and dash, and you're down. Yeah? Yeah. You think that's what he should do? Yeah. You're absolutely right. And, and eat is jumping. Yeah, here. Yeah. Here, yeah, so uh, how's this going? Not very good. No? No. Oh my gosh. And maybe you could say that the dad told him what to say. Maybe you could do that. But then he beats Hornet. He's four years old. I think he knows what he's doing. Links will be in the description. Everything I say will be cited down there if you want to check it out. What we have right now is the curious case of Dean Takahashi. This is going to be a defense and a critical examination of what he said in social media, in his articles, in the YouTube comments, and in the podcast. Because he says some things that I disagree with very much. But there's something he said that redeems him for me. And the more I investigated this whole shindig, the more I got to sympathize with Mr. Takahashi. This is not to condone what he said. This doesn't even condone all the shit he's been through. I don't think so. I mean, here, I I'll show you something. To the fucking idiot named Weekend Warrior, a fucking troll Weekend Warrior on YouTube, who made like a boring 53 minute video because your butt hurt that Batman v Superman is superior to shitty Civil War. Wow, 53 minutes of your fucking life wasted. You're an idiot. Batman v Superman in every way is superior to shitty Civil War. Civil War is a piece of garbage that's only good for the airport Spider-Man scene. 
I never expected that I'd use this video ever, but I thought this was appropriate. I know what you're going through, Dean. Maybe not to the same scale that you're experiencing, but I know when people shit on you on the internet. And it's hard to take it on the chin, being so publicized. And I think this is a more, like, it's, it's quasi-neutral. You say some stuff that I really don't agree with. But I acknowledge you're a human being, Dean, and I'm going to defend you at some point. So with that said, let's get to it. Let's look at Dean's bio. He's been a journalist for 25 years and specifically for gaming 18. He's written two books about the Xbox. He's written numerous articles covering many events. His articles include Kids Digital Ad Market Expected to Hit 1.2 Billion US Dollars by 2019. Holy shit, what? Watch this 100 year old man try out VR for the first time. Facebook becomes exclusive live stream partner for Paladins. What? What? I didn't know what? Dean's last review of Uncharted was on August 17, 2017. And reviews are not the bulk of his work. He does the grunt work, you know, going out to the source and getting some sort of article from it. He doesn't actually do a review most of the time. The article in question was posted on August 24, 2017. Dean's shameful 26 minutes. Now this shameful 26 minutes thing is like, it's embarrassing. You've seen the intro. The whole video is that, but longer. But he acknowledges that he sucks. I think it's fair to say that it's a preview of Cuphead. I don't know if this is the best representation of a preview for a game that's coming out, but hey. The point is, I think he acknowledges that he failed terribly. I do want to say one thing. Venture Beat wants people to look at the article for context. But this stuff blew up because of the video, not because of the article. I can't blame people for not wanting to look at the article after they see the gameplay. Let's go into his YouTube comment. I was lurking in 4chan when I heard about this. And I had to comment because it was fucking hilarious. Somebody even said that I was a Twitter thief. I don't blame him. It's become a meme at this point that people will inevitably compare a hard game to Dark Souls. Especially these people called gaming journalists. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. And one of the threads in the YouTube video was won by Mr. Sirius. What the hell man? You call yourself a games journalist. Why even post this? Dean actually made a reply about his performance. I have issue with some parts of what he said and let's dissect them one by one. I've watched the comments on this thread just to see how mean they would be. I think it's useful to show my gameplay experience. I did not intentionally play poorly to troll anyone, but it serves as an interesting social experiment. I have an issue with that. I hope someone could clarify. Originally, the title of this video was Cuphead, the tutorial is not easy. Shout out to Gerardo Cedillo for leaving that info and as well as providing the link. I think I got this screenshot from a link he provided or a link that was provided in that particular thread. I tried to verify this information for myself, but the only archive post was on September 2, 2017. But it was posted on August 24, 2017. I also found an article which verifies that was the original title. So I think it's true. So they changed the title from It Isn't Easy to Dean's Shameful 26 Minutes. So now I'm confused. Why did you change the title of your video? If I didn't know better, it seems like you changed the title so that you could say that it was a social experiment. You know what I think of when social experiment is said? But there's nothing that would suggest that it was a social experiment. If you look at people who say that it's a social experiment, you can see that there's some sort of setup. So tonight I'm in Las Vegas with a fake hundred dollar bill. What I will be doing is pulling out my wallet as I pull out this fake hundred, drop it, and watch what people do. You just show us a video of you playing Cuphead not so well. What you should have done if this was really a social experiment was to make a video about it and tell us that was really your plan, not post it in the comments. I would believe you more. I would probably even say you got me. I know Dean. It's not meant to make you angry, it's meant to make you laugh. It's supposed to make us laugh? Is it a social experiment or a comedy video? What is it? I will give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that what you're saying is true. Next time, if you're gonna do something like this, the intent would be more obvious if you actually have some sort of audio commentary running on the background. Like, oh fuck, oh come on, or, or something like that. 
but if we do that, it would have to be very much make it about Dean, you know, put in a voiceover track where we are, either he's talking about it or we're interviewing him while he's doing it. I just said that. As it is, if it were me just watching it, I would think that you're just making shit up so you could save face. The video shows it's a notch more difficult than your typical Mario game. In fact, if you are expecting Mario, as the story says, then you are thrown off. I'm sorry again, Dean. When did the story say this? If I Google Cuphead Story Mario, the articles that appear are 1. Your article that said you tried to play it like Mario. 2. This article from Polygon, which has the defeated Polygon player be told by the Xbox One representative that you should be playing it like Metal Slug, not Mario. Oh... We have another article that says the overworld reminds him of Super Mario World, and I can't be bothered to look at anything else but the top results. But I did look at their FAQ for the game. Cuffed is a classic run-and-gun action game heavily focused on boss battles. Inspired by cartoons of the 1930s, the visuals and audio are painstakingly created with the same techniques of the era, i.e. traditional hand-drawn cell animation watercolor backgrounds, and original jazz recordings, play as Cuffed or Mugman, in single player or local co-op, as you traverse strange worlds, acquire new weapons, learn powerful super moves, and discover hidden secrets while you try to pay your debt back to the devil. For the sake of expediency, I controlled F Mario. And the only Mario that appeared wasn't in relation to the story, it was in relation to the gameplay influences for the Cuphead. So I don't know where he got this story, Cuphead, Mario thing. Maybe he was given something in Gamescom that we weren't shown or we don't know of. Maybe that's the case. And it shows that the developers are going to leave a lot of people who are worse than me behind. Maybe they're fine with that. Maybe they want to target gamers with a love for difficult games. That's fine. But I think they should signal that. How many games actually come with a tutorial these days? Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, what were you saying again? They're not popular, but if it's necessary, that is a signal this is going to require some skill. If I understand you correctly, Dean, you are saying that if there is a tutorial, the game is going to be hard. This is just untrue. Shovel Knight doesn't have a tutorial, and it's not easy. A robot named Fight has this for a tutorial, and it's gonna take some skill. KO. Don't say this stuff, Dean, because it makes you look like you don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna defend you later, don't worry, don't worry, but try to, try to not say this. As for other comments on this thread, I wonder why they are hostile to someone who is viewing the game as a beginner. Are we that intolerant of people who are not gamers? The problem was, Dean, and you acknowledge this in your podcast, is that people didn't look at you as a beginner. If you were in fact some random kid but never played a game before and said, first time playing Cuphead, I think people would have been more forgiving. Probably not, to be honest, this is the internet after all. But people looked at you as a journalist. People looked at you with some experience, so people assumed you know what you were doing. That's the issue here. And this goes beyond the video, Dean. How can we trust your reviews if you can't play the thing properly? It's like this, I saw this analogy in 4chan. You have soup. Anyone can say whatever the fuck they want with that particular soup. The soup is the best thing ever, I have no strong feelings about it, or the soup is the shittiest thing ever created by mankind. And you eat soup with a spoon, or you drink it from the bowl. But if a guy goes, this soup is a piece of shit, and you find out that he's using a fork, or, heaven forbid, a fucking knife, I could go, I can't trust your opinion. You're not gonna review Cuphead. But that calls into question everything else you did. Like you called Mass Effect free Mass Defect and you gave it a low score, which I think it deserves, but not for the reasons you cited. You had a hard time with the game because you didn't put in the skill points that would level up your character, making you competitive. And you changed that grade when somebody pointed that out to you. Or how you shot on Warhammer 40k for being a Gears of War clone? I mean, come on, bro. I think it's fair to say that you might not have heard of 40k, might have. 
for you to not know you could level up your character in Mass Effect 3 is kind of... What? And in the earlier version of this article, you say that the creators of Cuphead made Super Meat Boy. I don't know him personally, but I know who he is. I have spent many an hour wasting my life in this game. And I know that he created Super Meat Boy and not these guys. And I know this because there's an item in Binding of Isaac called Cube of Meat. And if you collect four of them, it turns into Super Meat Boy. That shit is just incidental knowledge. Oh fuck me, there's a tutorial. Hide that shit, Nick! And it seems like he just skimmed the Wikipedia article because if you look at the Wikipedia article for Cuphead, it says that the creators tried to make the game again after the success of Super Meat Boy in 2010. And the wording is kinda suspicious. It's not a good look, Dean. It's not a good look. And I'm sorry, did you just say this? Are we that intolerant of people who are not gamers? We weren't talking about other people. You brought that up. We were talking about you. Are you implying that you're not a gamer? Because from what you showed me, there's evidence to suggest that. Should I have played the scene over and over again until I was good at it, and then turned the recording on, like so many of those perfect video walks thruffs you see? Yes. What's wrong with recording it until you get it right? What's wrong with doing things the right way? I'm gonna relate this to something you said in your follow-up article. It's an apology that turns into a non-apology. You're, you're saying that unskillful gameplay is authentic. When I relate it to this statement, are you implying that people who are skilled at the game aren't authentic? At the very least, you're saying that skillful gameplay is somehow less authentic. If that's not your intent, that's the impression I get if I relate these two things together. I think this is a very huge misstep, Dean. You shouldn't leave room for a person to infer, or if it is really your intent to imply, or even outright state that a person who is skilled at a game has an experience that is somehow less authentic or inauthentic than a person who isn't skilled. Team Liquid won the international this year. I didn't want them to win. But I respect them. They were in loser's bracket and they fought until the finals and they won that shit straight. Not even close, baby! Was their victory less authentic? Was their victory inauthentic? As for that particular question, we go to one Dean Takahashi. And if we do get paid to play games, we should take it more seriously and have some skill when we play. Remember, he said that, which is the weirdest segue ever on how I'll defend him, but fuck it. I'm not a fan of his latest article. There's this blatant shilling about his previous work. I don't know man, if you're making an apology, this might not be the best time to shill a product. He also plays the victim card so hard that it's difficult to sympathize with him. You being threatened physically is not good, but you comparing what happened to you with the Google memo is kinda ludicrous. Honestly, I think the Google fiasco was because of political reasons. This was just you not being good at the game and it blowing up. Why does it have to be political, Dean? Have you heard of Occam's Razor? The simplest explanation is probably the one that's true. Maybe the simple answer is the video was viral because you were really bad at that particular game. And also nice dodge with calling whoever this guy is a shitlord. Like, some people say he's a shitlord, but not me. I called him a games journalist. Come on bro, just say he's a shitlord. I know you want to call him a shitlord. What is more revealing to me is the podcast with his co-workers. He seems withdrawn. He, he seems like a shy person who knows he fucked up. You know, like I've, I've told people out on the internet that, uh, you know, they, you know they, they don't know me. I've, I've said I've been a tech journalist for 25 years. I've been playing games for, uh, as a journalist for 20 years, game journalist. Um, he gets no respect from his peers. I mean, look at this fuck. And I, I'm okay, you know, with people making fun of me, I think, publicly. Um, the anger is something that... I do it all the um, time. You could shit talk your friends, but Dean was trying to say something important. A and your nice little insult slash joke was not the best time to have done it. And what Dean says is important. The anger is something that... I do it all the time. Um, I think the... The game industry and the gamers need to think about more. That is, you know, they, they feel disenfranchised. They feel like um, they've got this great hobby and there are outsiders who keep coming in to cover them. And that the outsiders uh, don't understand them 
don't have the skill to, to evaluate, and yet they're judging them all the time. And I think that's why they got so angry at me here, is that they, they feel that's like the narrative. one of these people who's, who's not one of them, right? And mm-hmm. so, um, you know, for that, I apologize, because, you know, in that sense, I was tone deaf, right? I, I wasn't aware of these people. He acknowledges that there is a gap. He acknowledges that, hey, maybe these people are angry for a reason, and maybe we should look at that. This guy brings up Gamergate. Smokescreen to justify a weird culture war. Uh, I mean, I'm, again, I don't want to make this us versus them. This isn't us versus gamers. It's us versus this weird outside element of backwards thinking, you know, troglodyte yeah. group that just wants to hold things back. And, think- and when you pull shit like this, this is where the disenfranchisement comes in. You suddenly bring up stuff like disallowing women in video games. What? I mean, it's really about Dean's performance. I repeat this a lot, but Dean knows he fucked up. They feel disenfranchised. You know, they don't get paid to play games. Uh, we do. And if we do get paid to play games, we should take it more seriously and have some skill when we play. Right, and if you and, don't have the context you know, of your skills can't or argue, what you do, yeah, I, can't yeah, argue I can see you making those links. Skill part. Um, you know, people are, keep asking me, like, why do you do this if you have no skill? Well, my answer has always been I have fun playing. Mm-hmm. So, um, skill has, has uh, you know, it, there's a basic competence problem that people are doubting here. There is one nitpick I have, and it's what he says here. Uh, but, I, but I would point out that the context in which this, this all turned into controversy um, was very manipulative, right? That, you know, oh, yeah, of course. I, I, I post a story. I embed a YouTube video within that story. It's 26 minutes long. Um, the guy who was very angry about this, you know, excerpted the two and a half minutes of worst possible gameplay. I didn't find out about this video because of some troglodyte, Dean. I found it out on 4chan video games. Does that mean that my opinion is now less valid because I found it out on some other news source? Or are you just gonna weigh it aside because you say, oh, you're from 4chan, you're from Pole, or, or something? That's just absurd. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Two and a half minutes of worst possible gameplay, uh, which show no progression. Hell, I didn't even watch two minutes of it. I watched the 26 minutes. I felt compelled to make a witty comment. And if I'm being honest, I don't think there's any progression. I think your first two minutes of trying to finish the tutorial was indicative of what the video would be. You should stop making it political, guys. Just stop. And this is where I stop my analysis of Dean because it is a curious case. Dean knows he should be skilled. He says that outright. But they keep putting on this Gamergate thing, which is not really the issue. These guys should really take some responsibility. And Dean, I think, is there. Speaking of responsibility, it's this guy's fault. Not really Dean. You're like, oh, my Cuphead footage is unusable. It's like so bad. And I I thought that was (laughs) hilarious. So I'm like, oh no, you gotta post that. That's gonna be really funny. Uh, I really wanna see that. If you just listened to Dean, he would have written his article preview about Cuphead, and that would be it. You do acknowledge your mistake, but you should have listened to him. This whole thing is like a season of Fargo, where a simple problem spiraled out of control. What's the verdict? Dean can still be a journalist. Dude, what the fuck? But I wouldn't trust his opinions on games. <gasps> A journalist can cover a political event. A journalist can interview some political bigwigs. I don't think you have to be a politician to do that. That analogy goes with Dean. Dean can talk about the haps in the industry. He's been doing this for 25 years. He knows people, he has contacts, and this would be invaluable for VentureBeat. But when the review is done by Dean, I think I've shown you why you should think twice about his opinion. I think the only way Dean could recover his reputation is if he actually finishes Cuphead. While the Mass Defect review was, what, since 2008? And it's been 9 years since he fucked up this big? I think that, at the very least, we should give him a chance. I demand a trial by combat. If you ask me who the real winner of this whole thing is, it's Cuphead. This video has now, what, 600k views as of this recording? And that's just free publicity. I even asked for a review copy and I still haven't gotten a reply. I'm not bitter or anything. Originally, I wanted to show Dean my first 26 minutes of the game just to make fun of him. I don't want to do that now. And Dean, I think people will do that when the game comes out. I think the dad of this kid will let him do the tutorial part. You better prepare for that. (gasps) 
I'll probably review Cuphead when I finish it, just like what Senpai does. Speaking of games I've finished, that's it for now guys. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Let your thoughts be known in the comments below. If you like this shit, consider subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications, unless you want light to write your name down on the death note. I'll see you on the next one.